Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to be solving for question 2.67 from Young and Freeman's physics textbook. Oh, sorry, wrong question. There we go, Young and Freeman's physics textbook. And make sure that you're following along with the question and not the question number because I'm not actually sure if it's from the 15th edition or the 14th edition. All right, so let's get started. You are standing at rest at a bus stop. A bus moving at a constant speed of five meters per second passes you. When the rear of the bus is 12 meters past you, you realize that it is your bus, so you start to run toward it with a constant acceleration of 0 0.960 meters per second squared. How far would you have to run before you catch up with the bus, and how far must you be running then? Would uh, on how fast must you be running then? Would an average college college student be physically able to accomplish this? So to support our understanding, we can start off by drawing out the problem or drawing out a problem to understand uh, what's exa what exactly is happening here. So let's say that this is our bus. It is moving at five meters per second. And let's say that we're just right here. And only when the bus is 12 meters away from us, we realize that that was our bus. So this, this distance here is 12 meters. Okay. Now what we can do is we can write out all of our givens. So the speed of the bus is five meters per second. The distance from us to the rear of the bus is 12 meters. We're just gonna call this like distance um, is equal to 12 meters. And our acceleration is 0 0.96 meters per second squared. How far would you have to run before you catch up with the rear of your bus? And how fast must you be running then? Okay, and we also know that we start at an initial velocity or initial speed of zero meters per second. So we need to figure out um, A, how far would we have to run before we catch up? I'm gonna make that a little bit thinner so we can see it, or I'll highlight it instead actually. Um, no. Not sure how to highlight. So I'm just gonna underline that again. Um, how far and how fast. So the distance that we have to run, something that we need to note here that's important is that this 12 meters is only the distance when we're at rest, right? So 12 meters when time is equal to zero. So initially it's at rest, but also remember because this bus is moving at five meters per second, um, that as every second progresses, this bus is moving five meters. So it's, as time moves on, it's um, moving a further distance from what it was originally. So it would be helpful if we could write the distance, not actually as um, what it is at time zero, but what it is at any time. And we can say that the distance is 12, right? 12 meters at time zero plus 5t because um, the, this is the speed and this is the number of seconds, right? And if we multiply the speed time, the number of seconds, we get distance. So that's gonna be the total second at any time t. All right. And another thing that um, we, we, we know here is that we are going to be accelerating and um, we have a bunch of um, like variables for to describe our own speed. So we have this initial, um, uh, our initial speed was zero, we have our acceleration and we want to find out what um, this distance is, right? We want to find out what this distance is. So we're actually going to kind of make use of um, two equations. We're going to describe this two different ways. So the, this is the speed as the bus keeps moving on. And we're also going to describe distance um, in terms of like how far we're running to reach this D. 
Um, so our given variables, or we can we can say that D is a given variable to us because that's this that's this right here. Um, and we want to figure out what um, what D is. So if we look through our kinematic equations, we have A, we have BI, we have D, which is T, and we want to find what D is. What is the distance? So if we look through that, we get this equation from our um, five kinematic equations. This is the equation that we have. It's v naught t plus half of a t squared. This has all the variables that we want, right? So we can substitute um, what we know. So 12 plus 5t is equal to v naught, which is zero. So we can kind of just write zero right here, plus half of a t squared. A is 0 0.96 and then t squared. And now all we have to do is isolate for t and then sub t into one of these equations, right? So because this is a quadratic equation, we're gonna write it out that way. So we have 0 0.48 t squared minus 5t minus 12 is equal to zero and when we plug this into the quadratic equation, which you can do on your own and check your answer, um, I get these two values. I get t is equal to 12.4282 seconds. And I'm also getting t is equal to negative 2.01155 seconds. Of course, time cannot be negative in this context. So we have to go with the um, a positive answer, which is 12.42 or 428 seconds. And there we have time. So that's good. Now to get the distance, because that's what the question is asking in the first place, we're just going to plug this t into d. d is equal to 12 plus 5, 12.4282. Um, and that I get is equal to 74.141 meters. And that's the solution for the first part. Then it says, how fast must we be running at that point? Again, now we have even more um, givens, right? So we have acceleration, we have um, initial velocity or initial speed, we have time it takes, and we have distance. So using any, uh, any combination of this, so we have A, V, I, D, T, and we just need what we need. Okay, so we need EF. We can use any of the five kinematic equations. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. But feel free to experiment and try with another one. You're going to get the same answer. Of course, it has to have any three of these and then one of this. So VF squared is equal to V naught squared or VI squared plus two AD. Just V naught and VI are the same. I'm just using different variables, but I can fix that right now for sake of consistency. And I'm getting that VF is equal to square root of VI squared plus two AD. We know that that's zero. VF is equal to two AD. And when I plug that in, I am getting VF is equal to 11.931 meters per second. Now, can the average college student run that fast? I don't know, I'm gonna search it up right now. Average college student running speed. Um, okay, so it says, oh, this is in miles per hour. We want it in, in meters per second. Hmm.
Well, the average person runs five meters per second. Um, I don't know, probably not. That's kind of double. That's more than double. So I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. All right, so that's the end of our question. And um, these are our solutions, or this is our solution, one solution. And if you have any questions you would like me to solve, please feel free to leave in the comments or email me. And I'll be happy to solve the question. Um, one thing I ask is please give the final answer at the end and uh, the question, just so that I wanna make sure that I'm not doing anyone's homework for them, but just wanna help you with studying and um, understanding the textbook problems or any other problems that you might have physics related. All right, thank you so much and goodbye.